Ag Research has been developing ways to make smarter decisions about effluent irrigation using information that's been gathered on the Tokanui Dairy Research Farm in Te Awamutu. Senior scientist for climate, land and environment, Dr David Holbrook, explains the systems behind their environment management tools. My focus for research around dairy effluent has been looking at best management practices that enable us to apply effluent in a manner we want to keep the nutrients which we apply in the root zone where they're useful as a plant fertiliser and not as an environmental contaminant to surface waterways. More recently we've been looking at developing a system where we choose the appropriate best management practice given a certain soil type. If you want to improve the decision making around applying effluent to land, sort of incoming rainfall data and existing soil moisture content, so knowledge about how wet your soils is, is really important in terms of sort of fine tuning that decision making so that you can make the decision that's right for that day. We've got a lot of data now that we've collected over a range of different soil types and landscapes and environmental conditions around New Zealand so that we understand pretty well how our soils are behaving in terms of receiving effluent and the ability to get the nutrients where you need them, which is in the root zone. And so really now it's about applying them in a manner which makes sense to the farming community and so that we can develop systems that are more farm specific than they have been in the past. Soil and landscape features play a very important role in determining the sort of inherent risk of applying effluent to land. All soil types behave differently, but we've come up with five different key effluent land management units that we can map all soil types into, which then sort of guide the, the best practice or the sort of the, the, the practice that should be carried out to make sure that the effluent management is okay. So there's some key ones, like there's the, our, what we call our poorly drained soils, um, low-lying sort of soils in the landscape, soils with impeded drainage, soils with low infiltration capacity, uh, they're a high risk. We have soils that have a lot of preferential flow or soils with a lot of artificial drainage, so there's a mole and pipe drainage situations and a lot of situations where water's getting quickly moved from the, from the land to a drainage waterway and into, the, into clean streams. That's another high risk area. Uh, we have two soil categories which we consider to be low risk scenarios. So they don't need as much pond storage as the main difference compared to those high risk scenarios. And these low risk scenarios are both well drained soils. Our best one is what we just called our well drained flat to undulating land. So it's not sloping, it's very well drained. The, it can receive the effluent that it's, that it's getting applied quite easily without ponding, without causing surface runoff. And the, the free draining nature of it and well structured nature of the soil means that it, the effluent can move evenly through the soil profile and the, the large parts of the soil get to take it up and get, the, and get hold of the, the water and the nutrients that are applied. Our final category is what we call our very shallow well-drained soils. They're often very shallow, kind of like alluvial plains, such as sort of like the Canterbury shallow stony soils. They behave well, but they have a very low water holding capacity, so they're limited by how much depth you can put on at any one time. At this farm here, we're using the FarmWorks package. So this is providing us with a, an automatic start-up and, and turn-off system. In addition to having a fail-safe software package, we're also trying to automate a farm-specific or Tokanoi-specific decision-making process for this farm. We have a whole lot of Aquaflex tapes scattered around the farm in the different effluent land management units, and we can use that data to help guide which irrigator, because we've got the two different systems, should go to which effluent land management unit on a given day. And we're working on automating those decision rules at the moment so that the farm would be able to make a daily decision about which is the best paddock um, given those local conditions. Additions planned for the future include in-pond height sensors and forecasted weather predictions to further fine-tune the smart decision rules.